Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please feel free to subscribe down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. So happy to have everybody here. I can't wait to make better quality videos for you. But until then, we're gonna have to deal with the webcam for even longer. So what we are doing today, I'm gonna do a bit of an eating show for you. <laughs> that sounded funny. If you don't know what that is, it basically is just where you eat on camera and talk about things. I mean, that's that's really, that's, that's all I can describe it as. I'm going to be eating something extra crunchy, um, pretzels, with some roasted red pepper hummus. I've got some tea here in my favorite mug that I use every single day. And we're just gonna have a quick little chit chat. So if eating sounds bother you, if the sound of me getting up and shutting off the water that is leaking bothers you, then I am sorry. This is not the video for you. Please come back next time and we can have a different video experience together. I don't do these all the time. They're just an every once in a while thing. But we're just gonna do a little mini one today. So I've got my pretzels, got my hummus, and we are ready to go. Mm. I go through my phases with hummus. Sometimes I like the classic, regular kind. Other times I like the roasted garlic or the roasted pine nut. But lately it's been the roasted red pepper. Mmm, so good. So, um, what should we talk about today? Mm. This always happens. At the beginning of my video, if I do a mukbang, I always just love the food so much that I don't really want to talk. So if you're waiting for the talking, skip ahead a few minutes maybe. Mm. My whole life. Oh, so good. Yes. So maybe we should talk about, ah. Hmm. What do you think? What do you want to talk about? No, oh, I just spit a little bit. How was your day? Good. Mm-hmm. Glad to hear it. I hope. I hope you didn't say it was horrible. Because then I'd feel stupid. Oh. Mmm. If we're here, we probably watch Nekakado Avocado. Bro's going crazy. I love to eat the salt off of the pretzel first. Huh. If my boyfriend got home, which he probably will, he'll be like, what the hell are you doing? That's good. So, basically, if you're not up to speed, or if this is, you're watching this way in the future. Nekakado Avocado does mukbangs here on YouTube, and he's a vegan. He's been vegan for five years, and recently he's just been going crazy and saying that, like, a vegan diet isn't healthy and that it's making him go insane. He nuts. I'm just kidding. Like, he's not nuts. And everybody has their own path. Um, if he doesn't want to be vegan anymore, that's fine. If he wants to cash in on the idea that he's not vegan anymore by eating eggs and sardines on camera, that's fine. He can do him. But, mm. 
I mean, I don't think it's very fair to a movement that means so much and he knows how much it means to discredit it like that and to, like, news websites are making posts about him saying that, like, this bizarre vegan, like, or in a bizarre rant, a vegan YouTuber says that a vegan diet made him go crazy and that it's unhealthy and it's just like, dude, people see that and go, yep, see, I told you, that's why you shouldn't go vegan or, oh, I knew it, something was wrong. Yet he's been saying, yes, it helps people. He, like so many people have reached out to him saying, oh, you've helped me so much. I went through the same thing. I had health issues. But for the bigger picture, it's just, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think it's nice <laughs> that he did this, but he's making a buttload of money from it. So who could blame him? It also doesn't really seem like he cares about the bigger picture anymore, like the animals and the planet and stuff. And if he doesn't, that's fine. Everybody has it, their own heart. You can't go through your whole life thinking that everybody has the same heart as you because they don't. So something that really touches you, really affects you, that you're really passionate about, there are going to be a billion other people who don't give a fuck about it. Mm. I do this hummus thing wrong. It's almost halfway gone, and I've only had like 10 pretzels. What the heck? And you know what? Like... Some people would bash him and say, if it's all about the money, like, that's all you care about, then you're pathetic, and you shouldn't be making these videos because money doesn't matter, and whatever. Like, you live in a third world country, and you don't need a lot of money, you have a lot of Patreon supporters, you don't need a lot of money, um, but it's like... I'm gonna, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna use his name in the title of this video. Make it clickbait as fuck. So I get more views. That's just what people do. That's what YouTubers do. You can say that it's bad all you want, but until you're actually a YouTuber, <laughs> you, you won't understand. Like, it's so hard to get people to click on your videos and to want to watch you from one thumbnail, like, if I just put eating hummus, nobody would click on it, you know? I mean, some people would, but if I put Nikocado avocado blasts veganism or whatever, and then parenthesis, mukbang, you'll get way more views. That's nice. My sister just sent me a Snapchat. I thought it was going to be important. It was just a stupid face. And I think what a lot of viewers get wrong is the concept of what clickbait is. For example, just because I'm putting Nikocado Avocado's name in this thumbnail, it doesn't make it clickbait because I am talking about him. You know what I mean? If I said, Nikocado Avocado destroys veganism in epic vegan rant, or an epic anti-vegan rant, and then I didn't even talk about it, or I mentioned it for two seconds, that would be clickbait. But we're literally talking about it, so it's not even clickbait. But even if it was, you make that money, boy. Make that money. I just wish that you could have found another way to do it without, you know, trying to take down an entire movement. Sorry, no, sorry.
What's your favorite thing to eat with hummus? Let me know in the comments below. Because I love pretzels. I love um, green beans. I love... Mm, what else do I love? Carrots I used to eat a lot of with hummus. And like triscuits and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Let's get off the Nikocado Nick avocado thing because who cares? I don't. I don't care enough to talk about it for 25 minutes. Because people are going to do what they're going to do, regardless of whether you think it's right or wrong. People are just going to do what they're going to do. Whatever. I've been vegan for a year, and a year ago, <laughs> this whole situation would have made me so mad, but now, I'm like, I don't care. I don't care none. Mmm. So good. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. How many calories is in this little thing? 600, got it. Okay, cool. You know who I haven't been watching lately? High Carb Hannah. Like, I haven't been watching her at all. This is just straight salt. <laughs> it's weird. She's just not showing up on my YouTube homepage anymore. And like, when I have seen a couple of her videos, I'm like, I don't really care. I'm not trying to be mean at all. I should pop by her channel and see what other videos I've missed. So I'll probably want to watch those. But but personally, I haven't even really been into watching a lot of YouTubers that I used to watch. For no reason. A lot of YouTubers right now are kind of becoming repetitive and like they're making a new video every week or every few days but all of their videos are like the same exact video and I don't like it Or they've all been doing, like, vlogs, which I get because uh, Vlogmas just ended. But it's, surprisingly enough, the one video that I don't like to watch are vlogs. I don't know why. But, yeah, I just, I hate watching vlogs. I'm like... I don't care when you woke up. I don't care where you're going that day. I don't care. I did recently start watching Liv's Healthy Life here on YouTube. Her recipes are the bomb. I haven't made any of them, but I've watched at least two hours worth of her videos. At least. Probably more like eight hours. I just feel good. She films them really well, too. <sighs> I've got to chug this tea. 
Mmm. Mmm. I am way too hungry right now. Ah! That's nice. A little more. So, um, on this channel, it's going to be a lot nicer. I'm going to have a nicer camera than I've ever had before that can record better quality videos than ever before. Alright, I'm about to burp, so skip if you don't want to burp. <coughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> that was everything! Wow, that was a lot. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, so, what was I just going to say? Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot better quality. Lighting is going to be on fleek. Background or backdrop is going to be on fleek. Another burp is coming. I'm so sorry for those who don't like burping. For those who do, you're welcome. <sighs> okay, so, keep getting distracted by my own body functions. Uh, they're going to be good videos. They're going to be, it's still going to be a lifestyle channel, but I'm going to have a lot more super high quality recipe videos and um, maybe even workout videos. Another burp, geez. Um, morning routines, shower routines, I'm so gassy right now. What is going on? Uh, and I'm going to have help filming. My whole career, career, my whole YouTube life that I've been on YouTube, I haven't had any help. I've had one time somebody helped me film a video. But otherwise, I've always had to find some way to prop it up and, like, books to stack up. And, it, like, it's been so hard. So... Uh, I'm actually going to have, like, higher quality videos that people help me film, like, that I can't film by myself, and I'm just very excited. I'm thrilled, actually, to get that started and hopefully grow a stronger presence on YouTube. But anyway, my boyfriend is home now. I should probably stop eating this hummus. That's a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and for being my friend on the internet today. I hope you enjoyed this mukbang. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!